Welcome to my closet, besties. I bet you thought we were going to have a Thanksgiving vlog next. I did too, but no, <laughs> you're gonna see why in a second. I need to get dressed, but I just thought about starting the video here because I'm hiding in my closet from the boys. The boys being my dogs, they do this thing where if they want to play, they like to back up into me and try to touch me with their butthole and I'm so sick and tired of it. Are they trying to touch me with their butthole? No, but do they? Yes, and I am overstimulated this morning, so I'm gonna put on some leggings. I'm on my period too, if you couldn't tell, so things are getting spicy this morning. I'm gonna wear... Lulu leggings as always because these are my get shit done leggings and I was gonna try to wear less leggings but I decided I don't care this year 2024 maybe a different story but now we need to pick a shirt oh I don't think I ever told you groceries got delivered I don't know why I wanted them delivered at 6 a.m but here we are I think because I'm in a sassy mood we're gonna wear a black tank groceries have been brought in but now it is time I show you and explain to you what happened. so quickly after I just cleaned the kitchen twice in a row. Oh my gosh. So here's the tea. I need some coffee first. I went into my pantry yesterday. I was like, you know what? It's a little disheveled. I'm going to just organize it really quickly. So then tomorrow, which is today, <laughs> we can start cooking for Thanksgiving because it's two days before Thanksgiving. I wanted to start prepping. I get into my pantry and I see a little black speck and I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Kind of gross, but interesting. I go to my pasta section. I take out a box of pasta and I realize there's more little black specks and I'm like, Hmm, peculiar. I hope that this box just has little black specks and nothing else. Come to find out those boxes of pasta that I ordered from Azure Standard to save money had weevils in them. And I know weevils are not harmful, they're not toxic, but they're just, I don't like little critters in my <laughs> pantry. It's so gross. And I haven't touched the Azure Standard pasta since I got it a few months ago. It's been like in the corner of my pantry. And I kind of was a little bit less into pasta after I stocked up. It's kind of what happens with ADHD when you stock up on something. The thought of it afterwards sounds disgusting, <laughs> even though you loved it before. Anyway, from the right side of the pantry all the way to the left side of the pantry, from the top to the bottom, there were weevils. There were weevils in bins that didn't even have sources of carbohydrates that they would want. I had jars of pasta sauce, which they can't get into the jars airtight. There's nothing else in the container and they were accumulated at the bottom of the container. I don't think I noticed because, let me show you. Our pantry has a dip back here where it goes in pretty far. And so obviously this side doesn't go in as much. So I think the problem started over here. It's obviously shaded, you can see by the light. So I didn't notice the problem that was happening. And I didn't notice until the problem spread to the entire pantry. So this is so fun and exciting. So guess what I did yesterday? I threw away so many boxes of stuff because they got into anything that wasn't plastic and wasn't in glass. So things like tomato sauce are fine. Bags of pasta that are completely sealed are fine. Boxes that I know are covered in plastic on the inside are fine, but everything else I had to throw away. And it's kind of eye-opening how much my pantry had. I had to dump it all out. We literally threw away three garbage bags of food and it broke my heart. I would have much rather donated that food to somebody who could have eaten it, but it was destroyed. Literally three of those garbage bags are gone now. And I bet you're wondering, well, why did you buy more groceries? Well, the thing is Thanksgiving is coming and I placed this order before I knew it was happening yesterday. The stage where I'm at now is I cleaned, I had a deep clean five bins or six bins, but I have a tower of bins to finish. I know it's not a harmful problem, but I will not eat food in my kitchen if I know that there are weevils in my pantry. I just won't. That's disgusting. I wouldn't eat at somebody's house if I knew 
everything they had of Weevils in their pantry. It just is what it is. So now I get the fun job of wiping down every single piece of food to make sure that one, they're clean and two, that there is no Weevils getting back into my pantry. Look who's joining us. Hello? Hello. Instead of a Thanksgiving video, which you were going to get this weekend, you're gonna get the video of me cleaning my pantry again. It's okay though, you're still getting all the Thanksgiving footage. It's just not going to be today because today this is our life. And I was just gonna do this without putting it on YouTube. I was like, oh, this is kind of icky. I don't want people knowing about this problem. But then I reminded myself that I try to be authentic on my channel and not only show the luxury aesthetic, fun side of life. You guys are getting the weevil side of life today. I was in this pantry all day yesterday. Hours and hours and hours. So let's put these groceries away, gather ourselves, and then continue on with the mission. That way we can finally prep for Thanksgiving, which is what I've been wanting to do all along. Thank you for joining me on this adventure. Also, side note, actually, this makes me want to tell you about the freezer. Everything you see here in this freezer is all that's in here. This top shelf is the boys' food only. I have been slowly cooking everything in this freezer. So this is the update on my freezer challenge. We've had these toaster strudels since we moved in. I thought I wanted them. Apparently I don't. So this is what's left. I plan to eat that big bag of broccoli before the year ends. That's the goal. And this should be really easy. Those are my omelets. The rest should be easy. It's just the ginormous bag of broccoli. I'm probably gonna get those away as well as those lo mein noodles. It's just too big of a bag. Like if they're in smaller bags, I could handle it. But that's the update. I thought that was a weevil for a second. I almost freaked out. Nick fed the dogs today right here, so it's not clean. I have to sanitize like everything. This is a good start. Here is where we're at in the pantry so far. Honestly, not very far into the project and it's already like 12 or maybe even one, I'm not sure. Time is going by so fast and I'm moving so slow. Like I keep doing 10 minutes and I get super overwhelmed and then leave. I mean, I did spend like 30 minutes washing a bunch of the containers, but still. <laughs> This is just so daunting. I have to wipe everything down individually, which is what I've been doing before I put things away. Look at that freshly groomed boy. So this stuff either just came in from the grocery store or I wiped down individually. 
I learned my lesson. Only use airtight containers in your pantry. If you live in Florida, I'm sure probably other places too. <laughs> I'm just feeling overwhelmed and tired right now, to be honest. Yesterday, I spent way longer in here than I thought I was going to. And being on my period, I'm so sleepy. But I'm going to push through because this has to get done and take as many breaks as I need until we finish. So I think what I'm going to do is start right here where the phone is and start wiping down everything and then putting it into the pantry. That might be a better solution. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> well, a sliver of good news. These just came in from Amazon. I'm gonna be putting all of our cereals in here and anything like an open bag of chips, I'll just dump into here or just put the whole bag in here. It doesn't really matter. But I got enough to where I will not have a problem. And it's just gonna take up this entire shelf. And if I wanted to, I could go until like here comfortably, but we'll save that for another time. But I think that will solve our problem. It's looking good. a product to try so I figured I'll bring you into my bathroom so we can take a little break from the pantry. I did do some stuff this morning before I even wanted to get ready but back to this. This is the Indie League color balancer. I thought this would be a very good part of my morning routine. It's a green tint which I think I can put on. Oh it comes with a little scoopy which I thought I could put on after skincare because I'm pretty sure it is like a skincare product. It says our color balancer is the ultimate complexion pick-me-up and bids adieu to redness and discoloration with potent tiger grass and lutea root extract that provides a boost of antioxidants while revealing your most even skin tone. This formula glides on green but quickly neutralizes, neutralizes to beige as you blend it across uneven areas or use it as a primer on your entire face. So you want to warm it between your hands on clean dry skin, then it will turn to beige or you can use it for color correcting use it as a face primer. I think we get the gist. I probably would use this as the final step in my skincare routine and then just not prime when I do makeup. But I'm gonna change really fast. SPF and my ND Lee color corrector. So I think I'm gonna go with the color corrector first. Hopefully that is the right move. It said to warm it between our hands. Is it doing anything? That is the question. I still see redness. I think my skin looks good. I don't know if it did like a crap ton for the redness. You could probably apply another layer, but I don't want to. <laughs> I'm gonna let this sink in for a tiny bit and then go in with the Kosas SPF and we'll see our final look for the day. I hope this product doesn't make me sweat because in my kitchen there's no fan and sometimes like SPF and skincare draws in so much moisture to my face and I start sweating. Especially when I'm like already starting to sweat from like movement and stuff. But time for SPF. 
I think my skin looks glowy. Let me go in front of a window. Yeah, this lighting is not any better, I don't think. It's still dark out. I think it's like seven latest right now. I'm feeling so much better today though because we have a huge chunk done of the kitchen and my period is a little bit less intense today. So I think it's going to be a very productive day for things that we can get done. I might go out and run some errands in a little bit, but one thing at a time, let's get to the kitchen. <laughs> Look what I have done. The pantry is all done. Bugless. She is airtight. No air is getting into our food. No bugs are ever gonna get in there. I think I did a good job. There's literally no Ziplocs in my pantry. Everything is either in a plastic jar or a glass jar or it's original packaging that is airtight. I did not think I was gonna spend one and a half days on this project, but here we are. Thankfully I'm done. I'm sorry if you can hear my TV in the background. I wanted some noise while I was cleaning. I need to do dishes and I need to do a couple more things before I have an appointment, and then I'm going to finally start cooking for Thanksgiving. So with that, I'm gonna end this vlog here, besties. I will see you very, very soon for Vlogmas. And please make sure you don't forget to give yourself a little extra love today. We could use it during this holiday season. I love you, bye.